For this next segment of Seniors Living in Paradise, we're here at the Hale Anuinui Restorative Center. They had a special celebration, New Year's and even a birthday celebration for their centenarians. And there were four of them. With me is Shelly Yasuaur, and she's the activities director. Shelly, tell us a little more about this. We had a big celebration and we honored our four centenarians. We had four of them. Four. <laughs> we had two that are were 104 years old and we had two that were 102 years old. Okay. Can can we have the names? You can read them all. We had Mrs. Motoyama, Mrs. Honda, Mrs. Otani, and Mrs. Tanaka. Four of them. And then who do we have here? This is Kale Robinson in charge of our Director of Marketing and Admissions. And uh, she invited the mayor's representative. And Kea can tell you a little bit about that. Yeah. Okay, this is Kea, Kea Robinson. Kea, can you tell us a little more of what happened that day? Sure, we had uh, a cake uh, for our centenarians and it was donated by KTA. Oh. And we also had the mayor's representative, Shar Shigemura, and she presented uh, four of our centenarians with a proclamation. And then I understand you folks had entertainment, you had lays, they had certificates, all kind of good stuff, yes. yeah? Yes, uh, Penny Madamba um, did the entertainment oh, and it was, it was wonderful. It's a great celebration. And Along with that, they had members of their families, I understand. Yes, so um, each of the centenarians had their family members were present, and which was a really nice event. Mm -hmm. it was a nice and, and you do this every year, or once a year, or? Yeah, we do it once a year and we gather all our centenarians together and do a big celebration at the end of the year. You know, we have uh, two of them here today, Shelley. Can, can you introduce these ladies? Yes, this is Hideko Motoyama. And how old is she? 104. 104. Happy New Year! And um, I have Masai Honda. And 104 she, years old. Both of them, 104. Happy New Year! And understand these people, are, they're housewives and you know, homemakers. They but homemakers, they work plantation. Masai worked at a plantation. But what they both have in common was they did Japanese dance. And I think that's what kept them in good condition. Oh, I'd like to thank all our awesome volunteers who come. We have the student volunteers from the high school. I have my group entertainers. Um, just a whole bunch of... Yeah, from people. young to old, yeah? Yes. Throughout the year. Yes. And you're wow. looking forward again, 2012, for the community support. Right, and they're so valuable to our facility. So thank you very much from Hale Anui Nui to all our volunteers. Mahalo. Aloha. Aloha and welcome to Behind George Yoshida's Camera. First, we'd like to wish all of you out there a Happy New Year. You know, last year was a fantastic year, and 2012 will be even better. You know, as we travel around the island this year with our cameras, we hope that all of you can be part of our show, because this is what it's all about. The show is all about the people of the Big Island. For this year, we want to make sure everybody stays safe, healthy and be happy for our seniors we encourage you to share your wisdom your knowledge your experience and values with our younger generation once again i want to wish every one of you a happy new year next we'd like to recognize and thank the hawaii island retired teachers association who held their annual poinsettia sale all proceeds from this sale goes to fund educational programs here on the Big Island. We'd like to say mahalo to Michi Kauai who annually chairs the event and also to the public for their wonderful support. Next, we'd like to congratulate Nathan Suganuma from the Elder Day Activity staff who retired recently after 28 years with the County Parks and Recreation. Next, it could be a lonely feeling when students are away from home during the holidays. But for the University of Hawaii Vulcan athletes, they're very fortunate to have a good support group and coaches. 
Annually, a great holiday dinner is provided and funded by the coaches and caring community members. But more so, they try to always prepare extra food so the athletes can take the leftovers back to their dorms. The athletes certainly appreciate this fine gesture and the sacrifices made by the community volunteers and their families. These kinds of gestures are done here, only on the Big Island. Next, more than 150 participants turned out for the Family Caregivers Workshop entitled Caring for Family, Caring for Yourself, held in Kailua Kona at the King Kamehameha Beach Hotel. A special half-day event was sponsored by the Hawaii County Office of Aging and the AARP. Headlining the workshop was guest speaker Lee Hammond of the National AARP, who spoke on Medicare and Social Security. The caregiver workshop also included a resource fair where presentations on various subjects were held. In all, the workshop was an outstanding success and we'd like to congratulate and say mahalo to Debbie Wills of the Office of Aging and Jackie Bolin of AARP for an outstanding job. And lastly, we'd like to remind all of you of the Friends of Viking Golf Tournament 2012 Annual Fundraiser. This takes place on Saturday, January 28th at the Hilo Muni Golf Course. The tournament will be a two-person team scramble fundraiser. For information and registration, call Mr. Daryl Yagi at 935-7525 or go to the Hilo Muni Golf Shop. We'll see you there. And that's it for Behind George Yoshida's Camera. And before we go, we'd like to say mahalo to our volunteer videographers, George and Shirley Ito. Thank you again for watching us on Seniors Living in Paradise.